what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be addressing a highly anticipated request for my tesla wireless charging pad yes <laughs> i'm talking about the connector so we finally got a connector but first off i want to send a big shout out to this customer slash subscriber he's the one that actually sent me the sdl file for the connector so again big shout out to him because i was able to get the sdl file and make my own design based off of that and i designed it in a way where previous customers would just be able to just download the file so that way they could just get that consistent connection i know with the Subaru method that we've been doing i know it's been working but a lot of customers also had you know they wanted something just plug and play so hopefully that solves it for most of you guys i know all of with the Subaru it was working just fine but you know that improves it even better so now if you've already purchased the module from me i'm gonna show you how to retrofit it into the connector so that way you can get that crispy and consistent connection for those of you who had purchased the module right so if you already did the Subaru you could easily undo it or you could leave it like that you know it's as safe as this method here but if you wanted to convert over to this original connector so pretty much what you would do on the casing what I started doing I started placing a marking for like negative and positive side so that way no one is confused but nonetheless again this is the positive side now I'm gonna grab the connector and again when we are looking at the connector so left is gonna be positive and then right is gonna be negative so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in just like this And then boom pops out on the other side as you all could see you could see the teeth and then I'm gonna grab the other one and then I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in just like that and then you push it in see as easy as that so yeah nothing complicated at all so fairly easy and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in a car and show you how it looks but let's do a shaking test see it didn't back out or nothing like that so this is pretty firm now i'm gonna go ahead and go in the car and then i'll show you guys how it looks all right y'all so we're now in the car so uh, before when we had the connector uh, if you guys could see it we had to use the Subaru method you know so we could get the wires I guess to stick through the pin connectors so as you all could see this is it here so now with the connector itself when looking at the connector so this side is gonna be the positive side and this side is gonna be the negative side when we plug it in, it's going to go in just like this. So if you're connecting the connector like this, again, the one on the left is going to be positive. The one on the right is going to be negative. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in just like that. There you go. So it should fit in nicely. So you shouldn't have to force anything. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it just so I could show you. So, you know, pretty straightforward. Lift this one up, pull this one back, and then there it is. So as you all could see, I don't, I'm not sure if you could see it. This is the pin connectors. So still looking good. All right, so for the wires, I made it tight, a little tight, just so that way I know it's not gonna back out. So um, if you were to download the STL file and then you were to print it, it might give you a hard time to insert those two wires into the hole, just because I made the hole tight enough, just so I could make sure that it's not going to back out. So let me go ahead and plug it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the USB cord just so I could make sure that it works. So. Once I plug it in, it should light up blue. And that's a telltale sign that it's working. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. And then this is good as well. For the final test, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone just so I can make sure that it's charging as well. So currently my phone, it's sitting at 39. So let's go ahead and sit it on the charger and see if it charges. Yep, so that's charging. Now let's go ahead and try the other side. I'm going to leave it up just like this. Okay, it stopped. I'm going to place it on here. And the other side is charging as well. So let me try for the watch real quick. Just going to flip this one up just like this. And then this is the watch. Let's see if it charges the watch as well. There you go. So it's also charging the watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back on because I've had this out for almost a week now, you know, testing and making sure that it fits. So now that I know that it fits, I'm gonna have the STL file on my website available for free to all of you guys. So if you've already had purchased it in the past and then you wanted to just grab the connector and then print it or whatever the case may be. I'll have it on my website so you could download it for free. So yeah, let's go ahead and just assemble everything. So this is with everything assembled. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on a wireless charging pad just so I can make sure that it works. So it should be working, but let's go ahead and test it out again. Yes, sir. That's looking nice. Let me, pull, let me pull it out again. Okay, it stopped. I'll go ahead and place it on the passenger side. Yep, so that's also charging. So again, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you who purchased the wireless charging pad. If you have it installed in your vehicle, Send me some videos, you know, send me pictures. I just want to see your setup and how it looks in your car. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on your post notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.